So a few days ago, I read an article called, uh, well, I can't remember the name now, but it was um, about the concept of ancestral memory. Uh, it's the idea that we inherit the memories of our ancestors, that somehow the memories of our ancestors are imprinted in our DNA and it's you know it sounds a bit far-fetched I guess but uh, and I've seen some research reports um, that was not credible but this one this one is they uh, gave one generation of mice a stimuli is that the word uh, that was a, a, a scent and I think, I can't remember if it was like something negative or something positive that happened to them when uh, uh, they smelled that scent. Um, and their offspring uh, reacted in the same way, exactly the same way, even if they had never um, learned um, like their like their parents had, like uh, they had never had an experience uh, con that could connect anything positive or negative to that scent. But still, they reacted in the same way as their parents, even if their parents uh, was not there. It it was not like they they learned um, that behavior. So uh, I will uh, put a link to that research report in the video description. Now, we don't know how far this goes, how much this affects us, but I believe that it could explain a lot. And I think, first of all, we can't say that this is just, uh, you know, new age, it's just, uh, it's very far-fetched. It's not. It has been proven now that um, at least some of the memories of our ancestors are imprinted in our DNA. The question is how much? Um, and the concept of being an old soul suddenly starts to give um, a lot of sense. That makes It makes a lot of sense now, you know? And I don't know, but for me there are some places, some I guess you could call some stimuli, like um, this place where I'm at now, um, and even smells. And uh, for me, it's what I like to call the Norse, the Norse spirit, and the Norse, the Norse way of life. And these places, like the place behind me, is. Um, gives me um even before even when i was little and i didn't know what kind of place this was it was it gave me this feeling this very profound sense of belonging and i can remember it, it was the viking ships in oslo because I grew up in Oslo and so we were at the museum, the Viking Ship Museum a lot and it was, uh, I remember the first time I saw uh, the Viking ships there and it was so, such a strong and profound experience for me. I was just a little boy then, you know. So I am now at the holy place, this place at least for me it is holy. It's the stone ring, stone circle field um, up here, not far from my home. And someone is walking past now, so I will, uh, I'll get back to you in a few seconds. Before we move on, can I just mention the Dutch translation of the first of the Jungsviking novels and um, I have been mentioning 
the other translations um, and there's a full list of all the languages with direct links to the, the publishing houses in the different countries on my website there's a link in the, vid in the video description so my Dutch publishers edition uh, uh, of the first of the Jung's Viking novels uh, it's been out for quite a few months actually this stone circle here the second one from uh, the sea for some reason means it, I, I, I feel a belonging here this stone circle here I do not always walk inside the circle This place would have been close to the sea back in the Bronze Age and even in the Viking during the Viking Age. It's a magical place, a holy place. So let me know in the comments section if you have any uh, any opinion on that, or maybe if you have uh, some kind of experience when it comes to ancestral memory. As I mentioned, a place like this is uh, I can't explain it. Well, maybe now I can, but it gives me this very kind of connects on a very deep level um, if I can use the word soul it connects with my soul this place here so let me know if if uh, you have the same kind of experience let me know in the comment section